Isn't the world full of wonderful things? I mean, there we sit, cooped up in Yonkers years and years, and all the while, wonderful people like Mrs. Malloy are walking around New York, and we don't know them at all. I don't know whether, well, from where you're sitting, you can see, well, for instance, the way her eye and cheek and forehead come together up here. Can you? And the kind of fireworks that shoot out of her eyes all the time. I tell you right now, a fine woman is the greatest work of God. You can talk all you like about the pyramids and Niagara Falls. They aren't in it at all. Of course, up there in Yonkers, they came into the store all the time and bought this and that. And I would say, yes, ma'am, and <laughs> that'll be 75 cents, ma'am. <laughs> and I watched them. But today, I actually spoke to one equal to equal equal to equal and to the greatest one that ever existed, in my opinion. They're so different from men. Everything they say and do, it's so different. You feel like laughing all the time. Golly, they're different from men. And they're awfully mysterious, too. You can never really be sure what's going on in their heads. They have this wall around them of pride and a sort of play acting. I bet you could know a woman a hundred years and never really be sure if she liked you or not. This minute, I'm in danger. I'm in danger of losing my job and my future and everything that everyone thinks is so important and I don't care. Even if I had to dig ditches for the rest of my life, at least I'd be a ditch digger who once had a wonderful day.